so the easy way to remember the cranial nerves there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves right and every nerves has a different name so this is the one easy way we can remember the cranial nerves the way to remember i said o o o to touch and feel very good velvet a haben funny but help to remember so o o o means one two three four is two five is touch six and seven fill eight very nine good ten is bulbet eleven is a and twelve is heaven so you has to consequence one to 12 because we have a 12 pairs of cranial nerves number one is o means all factory number two again o o o optic number three is oculomotor right number one all factory nerve they are sensory and they help for olfaction olfaction means smell then number two optic nerve they are also sensory they help us to vision means something to see and number four number three oculomotor they are both category means motor and sensory so the function of oculomotor they help to movement of eye so movement of eye muscle they help oculomotor and number four is number four is two and number five is touch two means trochlear trochlear nerves is number four they are motor and sensory both and serve the superior oblique eye muscle so i tell you number two number three number four both are help to the movement of eyes both are motor and sensory right and then number five number five is o o o to touch five touch t t for trigeminal nerve trigeminal nerve nature is the motor and sensory both the sensory portion can help the face and also they supply to the mouth the motor to muscle of mastication so nclex board especially nclex rn board this question asks what other nerve can help to mastication or chewing chewing or mastication trigeminal trigeminal number five number six is abducens and and feel very good and for abducens the nature of abducens are motor and sensory so the abducens i said they can help us to abducens right they can help to serve for the lateral recti eye muscle a question you has to get in the board whose three muscle muscle nerve can help to movement of the eye number three number four and number six oculomotor trochlear and abducens not number five number five is trigeminal i'd said they are the muscle of mastication right number seven facial feel very good 
facial, facial, they are nature the motor and sensory. They can uh, help to the muscle of the facial expression or lacrimal glands or salivary gland. So the facial nerve help to express your facial muscle also can help lacrimal gland or salivary gland to secret saliva. And number eight is called vestibulo cochlear nerves. Vestibulo cochlear, the, the nature of them are sensory, sensory. So basically the vestibulo cochlear nerve help to hearing and equilibrium. Equilibrium means you're maintaining the balance, equilibrium, hearing and equilibrium. Other name of eight cranial nerves is called auditory nerves. Number nine is glossopharyngeal. Glossopharyngeal is number nine. The nature of glossopharyngeal nerve are motor and sensory. Motor and sensory, motor means the nerve what is supplied to the muscle. Sensory means the nerve which is transmit the sense, sensation, means touch, heat, pain, right? Every sensation. So glossophangel is number nine. They are uh, help, they supply to the pharynx, I mean throat, for swallowing. So NCLEX board asks which muscle nerve can help swallow the food? Number nine, glossopharyngeal. Okay, and also the parotid salivary gland, particularly parotid gland secret supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve. The longest nerve in the body is called vagus, number 10. Is it good for glossopharyngeal and velvet vagus? Number 10, I said, easy to remember, Las Vegas is very big and number 10 look like good, right? Number 10, vagus, huge nerve in the body. The nature of vagus is motor and sensory. They supply our GI, gastrointestinal system. So sensation from viscera. Viscera means organ, liver, stomach, pancreas, duodenum, they are viscera. So sensation from viscera and also parasympathetic motor regulation of visceral organ. Parasympathetic means the nerve what are help your digestion. Parasympathetic is active during relaxed mode. When you eat, you are under relaxation, right? If you are walking, running, in the same time, you do not do your dinner or break, uh, lunch. You have to sit, be cool, then you eat. So during the relaxation, you eat your digestive system work. So parasympathetic supply by the vagus nerve. And number 11, number 11 is a accessories. Number 11 is accessory nerve. They are motor and sensory accessory. And accessory nerves are held for muscle that move head, neck, and shoulder. I said accessory nerve is 11. They can help to the movement of muscle that moves your head neck and shoulder. So NCLEX board asks which muscle supply or help to movement your shoulder? Number 11, accessories. 
And last two one is called heaven. Heaven for hypoglossal. Hypoglossal. Pilab 12. Hypoglossal, the motor and sensory both. They can uh, help to the muscle of the tongue. So hypoglossal means the muscle who can help for the movement of the tongue. So the cranial nerves, as I told you, there are 12 pairs, right? So already we know what number and what are the name. And also we discuss about the function of cranial nerves. Function of the cranial nerves, we discuss it. But every cranial nerves, some of the criteria are nature. Some of the nerves are sensory. Some of the nerves are motored by nature. And some of the nerves, cranial nerves, are both. Means motor or sensory. So as I told you, some of the nerves are sensory. What does it mean? Or some of the nerves are the motor. What does it mean? So it means, it means, I said, Sensory nerves, basically a nerve, sensory nerves is a nerve that carry the sensory information. Sensory information towards the central nervous system, shortly called CNS. Okay. And all sensory nerves, all those nerves which can sense or recognize the stimuli. What does it mean, sense? Sense means the internal or external sensor or like touch, uh, pain, then smell, right? All at the sense basically i want to recap it for you a sensory nerves is a nerve they carry the sensory information what is sensory information sensory information means the sensation like pain vision hearing touch taste, smell, balance, all are sensory um, information. So they carry the sensory impulses towards the central nervous system, right? And another category of nerves are motor. Motor means muscle. M for motor, M for muscle. So the nerve, what is supplied to the muscle, they are motor. So the motor nerve is a nerve located in the central nervous system, usually the spinal cord, that send the motor signal from central nervous system to the muscle of the body. Imagine your hand is here. Suddenly I put some fire on your hand. What you have to do, you should withdraw the hand. So when I put some uh, fire or heat on your skin, the sensory system send a signal to the brain and brain give a feedback and your muscle withdraw your hand from the heat or source. So this is a combination, sensory, motor, and your brain coordinating. So basically, I want to recap what does it mean, the motor. 
The motor nerve is a cranial uh, nerve. What is located in the central nervous system and usually the spinal cord that send the motor signal from central nervous system to the muscle of the body, right? So now question come, some of the muscle nerve in our body are both nature, like sensory and motor, and the, we call both, we call the both. So the olfactory nerves by nature are sensory, optic nerves nature is sensory, all oculomotor nerves nature is motor, trochlear is a motor, but trigeminal cranial number five are both means motor and sensory. Number six, abducens both uh, are the motor. Facial nerves is both motor and sensory. Vestibular cochlea are sensory. Glossopharyngeal and vagus, both are both nature. Both stand for here. Sensory and motor, both nature. Accessories muscle are motor by nature and hypoglossal, the cranial number 12, are the motor. NCLEX board sometimes asks which nerve what nature by character, which one is a sensory and which one is a motor. So easy way to remember some of the students like this. To remember this, some say merry money, but my brother says big matters, uh, big brain, matter more. So some say Mary, like S for sensory, S for sensory, M for motor. So when you organize like this, number cranial number one is sensory. Cranial number two is sensory. Cranial number three is a motor. And right, cranial number three, four, also the nature of motor. Five is both, but my brother, my number six is a motor nature. Number seven, facial, both my brother. Say big, say sensory, cranial number nine. And number uh, eight, sensory number eight is both nature. Brain matter more, brain, both biggest nerve and accessories, motor and hypoglossal also motor. Basically this I like most, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We have a 12 pierced cranial nerves. So easy way to remember, some say merry money, but my brother says bad business merry money. S stand number one, number one cranial nerve is sensory. Say number two, number two cranial nerve is sensory by nature. Number three, cranial number three is motor by nature. Number four, cranial nerve, motor, money. Number five, cranial nerve is both by nature. Number six, motor. Number seven, right? Both by nature. Motor and sensory. Eight, motor. Nine, both by nature. 10, Vegas, both motor and sensory. And last two, 11 and 12, merry money are motor by nature. So now, before to finish, I want to recap it again, the function of the cranial nerves. 
then it would be complete, right? So the function of the cranial nerves here, basically um, all factory, number one, they help to sensation. Sorry, number one is help for olfaction or smell. Number two is optic, means vision or sight. And number three, number four, and number six, oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens, these three numbers of cranial nerve help to the movement of eye. And number five, number four is a trochlear. They can help to the uh, trochlear, num number, um, number uh, okay. Number three, number four, and number six can help to the movement of eye. And number five is a trigeminal. They help for fish sensation, number five. Especially they help to sensory from the face and mouth and motor to muscle of mastication. Number six, abducens. Right, they can also movement of the eye. I told before, and number seven, the facial, the face movement, facial expression, and also lacrimal gland secretion or salivary gland secretion. And number eight, vegetable, they help to the balance, equilibrium, and hearing. Number nine, heal for the test and swallowing. So NCLEX board asks, which cranial nerve heal for the testing? Which cranial nerve heal for the swallowing? Number nine. And number 10, for heart rate and heal for digestion. Heal for digestion. So as I told you, the sensation from the viscera, right? Or parasympathetic motor regulation by the vagus nerve to the viscera. Digestive system held by vagus. And 11 accessory held for the movement of your shoulder, head, neck, right? Movement of the head, neck, and shoulder. And last one is a hypoglossal. They help for the muscle of the tongue, movement of tongue. So this cranial nerve is important for NCLEX board exam.